Good morning, everybody. It's Pastor Rick, Broadman Baptist Church. This is the Broadman Word for February 21st, 2022. A marvelous day to be a Christian. I hope you're alive and well and getting ready to go enjoy another day that the Lord has given you. I want to talk to you today about running your race. It's from Hebrews. I'm going to go one and two. It says, Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders the sin that so easily entangles, and let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us, fixing our eyes on Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of faith. For the joy set before him, he endured the cross, scorning its shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. So, we have individually a race marked out for us. I know you've heard me talk so many times about um, understanding who you are in God and who you are to God and um, who you're intended to be and living that out. This is further evident that there is an individual path for each of us. There is a race to be run. Uh, Paul says very clearly, and let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us. So we, as corporately, as uh, Christians have a, a ministry, the ministry of reconciliation that Jesus left with us. But we each individually have a race to run. And it's one marked out for us by God himself. He has intended for you to perform a function in the kingdom. He has intended for this very day for you to have things to do. Uh, you're going to go places. You're going to Counter people, you're going to see things, and it's all by design. It all has purposes for the kingdom, and it's a race that you need to run. Uh, and while we're running, we need to keep ourselves focused. Um, you've heard me talk uh, about all the distractions of the world and um, all these ideologies running around that seem so good and sound so good, but they're really just designed to get you off of your race, to get you off of um, the path that's been marked out for you. So laser focus then on the race and the path that's been marked out for you. You've been uniquely equipped to do the exact thing that God needs you to do, but you have to be willing to run the race. And it says with perseverance, that means it's not going to be easy. There's going to be hills, there's going to be struggles, there's going to be breaks in the trail, there's going to be things that want to get you off of your race. We have to, with perseverance, throw off all the sin that so easily entangles us. And in order to do that, we can't be part of the sin, we must actually live separate um, from the sin of the world. We have to be holy, we have to be different set apart for this particular race uh, to be run and for us to be victorious in this race, we must then throw off the sin that so easily entangles. Not that we're perfect, obviously not. We are, in fact, people, but we are a forgiven people and we are a focused people, or we should be, and we should be ever present in the good fight. In the race we should make plans on how to run the race athletes don't just go um, to a race even the hundred meters in the Olympics or wherever else they plan it out it's let nine seconds or less but there's years of training and planning that go into accomplishing that nine second race so um, we then must be trained to run the race and that means discipleship and that means personal study that means devotional time that means prayer time it means corporate worship on sundays you know do not forsake the assembly so we must then train ourselves for the race and we must be able to persevere through whatever it might come to for us to be successful so listen I would encourage you take stock of your life what skills and resources do you have what time do you have and then plan out your race plan out your day 
but not with the same calendar mindset that the world has um, demanded of you for so many years. Plan out your day with a spiritual mindset. Approach it as a spirit and not just another body, the 8.2 billion or so of us there are. Not just another clanging bell in the wind. Plan it out as a runner would plan it out. Plan it out like an athlete would plan out a race. Have um, water stations along the way for you to um, get your hydration. Have things and people along the way that can help you um, with this task that you're trying to accomplish. Have specific times and put during this race where you're going to do certain things and set those as goals uh, to train for and then to accomplish. Approach it all very methodically, very intentionally, but always spirit-led. And when you do that, um, you're going to fine-tune yourself into a spiritual Olympian. And once you re reach that status, you're going to see that you become much more effective in the kingdom. You become much more of a uh, ambassador uh, and your race uh, becomes much more successful. You will feel it, you will see it, um, and you will reap the rewards of a well-run race. Listen, I know that was a lot to think about, but it is necessary for you to run this race with perseverance, throwing off all sin that could easily entangle you, and keeping your eyes laser focused on the pioneer and perfecter of our faith, Jesus Christ. And I love you. You have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time.